So people are right, this is going to blow you away. We're going to show you some clips here you've never seen before. We're looking at Mo Norman's swing, the best ever ball striker of all time. And we're going to have a look exactly what he was doing. Now, this has the potential to transform your ball striking literally immediately. And we've got some really great drills in this video. I can't wait to show you this. We're going to have a look at the inner workings and the things that they don't talk about as well about Mo Norman's swing. A couple of things we've got to stay away from as well. This is really important. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, guys, give us a thumbs up. World Class Golf Instruction, we're reaching lots of people. Right, let's get started. So guys, right, have a listen to this now. Mo Norman, Murray Irvin Norman was a Canadian professional golfer whose accuracy and ability to hit shot after shot perfectly straight gave him the nickname Pipeline Mo. And during his career, he won 55 tournaments in Canada. Sam Snead said the greatest ball strike of all time. And Tiger Woods said Norman and Ben Hogan were the only two golfers in history to have owned their swings. So guys, I'm going to break this analyst up a little bit. We're going to have a quick look at this now. Then I'm going to show you a drill that I believe seriously can improve everybody's ball striking immediately. Now, Mo Norman devised what is known as the single plane swing or the single axis swing where the shaft dissects the forearms is just simply in one line, straight legged. But it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because you can see how steep he swings on the way back. But from this position here, like many of the great ball strikers, when they drop their head, they end up smack bang on the original shaft plane. Now, we, we've seen that with so many golfers, haven't we? And uh, we've seen it with Arnold Palmer. It seems to be like they have the same computer chip in their brain or something, these freaks of the game. Lee Trevino, I'm not going to show you Hogan, but he landed back there. It's sort of like as far as I'm concerned, I mean, Garcia, people don't know how good he hits the ball. He's been statistically the top two iron players in the last 25 years with Tiger Woods. I mean, just unbelievable. But he's sort of hitting those lines all over the place and sort of back down on that original sharp plane like Hogan did and back up. That's sort of a bit more of a on plane type of swing. So this is where it gets interesting. Have a look at Mo Norman's club face here. Like it's just way open, you know, pointed over to 11 o'clock. And, and when we're looking at most of the great ball strikers, like seriously, they're coming in between 12 and one. We've seen it with the great ball strikers of the past. It's like the logo points down a little bit. And it's really a, a easier because you don't have to release it as hard, but Mo's footwork was just so good. It, it's it's the best footwork of all time. I mean, he had a huge rolling release. Now that that's hard to do, but what is amazing about this footwork is it just, it really does make ball striking just so much easier. So let's look at a drill here in a few seconds so we can all move through the ball more effectively. Have a look at Mickey Wright, Ben Hogan said the best swing that he ever saw some of these moves through the golf ball from the world's best ever golfers and probably DeChambeau, the just amazing footwork with his driver hitting at the speeds that he's hitting it through the golf ball. Let's have a look at this drill before we move on to the rest of the video. So guys, all right, let's have a look at this because there's millions of people coming down with open club faces. There's so many people out there trying to turn their hips, kicking their right leg out. Now we saw Mo Norman come down there with a slightly open face, didn't we? Right. The reason that he's flat footed, and this will help a lot of people out there, is that if he was having an open club face here and turning, the club face would just stay open. So if you have an open club face, like a lot of people do coming down, if you feel me a swing, the last thing you want is fast legs. All right. So what you can do is just feel like you're flat footed. Now we've seen Greg Norman, we've seen, I mean, they're just, you see Max Homer at impact. It, it's a better place to be than this thing kicking up here. So one of the great moves is really to get your, your knees to move forwards, but keeping your foot on the ground. Jack Nicholas with his iron shots there, unbelievable footwork. And uh, so let's have a look here what we can do to feel it. So when we swing down, we're trying to get, get the, the club and then your foot, club foot club foot right club foot and it, it's trying to get that that sequence between the both of these shots so when you move through you hit and then bring the foot and this timing people keeping yourself in with great footwork not looked at enough really balanced swings 
keeping yourself on the ground here at impact it's going to help you clean up a lot of this stuff when this kicks forwards this will move up for a lot of people and really by keeping your knees just inside your toe line and not getting your feet ripped off the ground it's an amazing thing to really improve so many people's ball striking out there so guys right the perfect downswing the perfect impact the perfect through swing the mo norman move and why don't we speak about the elephant in the room the movement downwards why is there nothing on youtube about moving down when the pga tour averages three inches seems to be a lot and a lot not to notice look i'm not expecting club golfers to all just all of a sudden move down but you've got to understand this is how you get the correct bends this is how you can move forwards this keeps it on plane this is the move that we all want to get eventually closer to so what we're going to do is take you through a couple of drills here basic drills and fields and this is why we put together world-class golf instruction and we don't show that on youtube we've got like 1400 videos 85 separate series lag and compression series a whole bit online lessons guys let's move into a wonderful part of the video here where we start to really feel this movement of what mo norman's doing down and through the golf ball so guys I've got some good compression on that one right guys when you get down and through impact if you've sunk down enough what you can do is when you move through the golf ball here I've just got the hands just outside the left leg just see if you could touch underneath that lead knee with your right hand and this is just going to be supplying you with enough movement downwards and you can just get in there and swing through and you'll start to feel the bends that you need to be able to get in that position so this is a good little reminder as well is get up to the top you know moving down and through and under and if you can just touch on the underneath part of that knee there you're getting the sufficient bends that you need and you'll feel this right side just shortening somewhat as you're rotating and this is a good checkpoint to get yourself inside or extremely close to this hitting zone voted best swing analysis by several independent surveys your personalized swing analysis is analyzed like never before 15 to 30 minutes of side-by-side -side expert swing analysis, tailored drills and exercises, and unlimited private contact to answer any of those unanswered questions. Don't miss this exclusive opportunity to train with the best in the business. Join thousands of satisfied golfers and become part of the ever-growing family and library at World Class Golf Instruction. It's time to stop searching and start playing the best golf of your life. Relax in the knowledge that you're receiving the best information available. So guys, right, let's have a look at the Mo Norman drill. Now, what an amazing move this guy had down through the golf ball. How the left leg was bent and how he lowered down and how he dropped. And we're going to have a look at this leg work. We've seen it with... You know, we see so many great players with Adam Scott and Garcia and we'll just talk about this for a second because this is a great way to feel this movement around impact and just after impact. So what we do, and obviously we've got to lower down, but what we do is we pop the club over opposite your left foot. Now I want to get a compression line here, meaning I want the, the shaft and the lead arm in one line, right? Now then we're going to move laterally and lower down. So when you're in this position and we, we get a line down here from the outside of this lead leg, I want it around four or five inches in front of the golf ball. Okay, so we're getting the right knee to cover the golf ball. This is the position we're in and, and you know, and we've lowered down. Okay, so you get into this position, start again, pop it over opposite that lead foot. We're going to shift across and we're going to lower down. You got this elbow in and just stay there for a second and you feel like just look down at your legs feel the pressure on your foot here because you never get ripped off the shot from here all right and this is a great way to get your right leg your left knee into such pure position once you stand in positions for longer 20 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds and you come back and then you give it a hit you move through into these positions and i could actually feel a little bit more sinking down i love that feeling a little bit more sinking down a really solid left leg as my Norman said, the left toe takes the hit, he never gets pulled off the shot. And, you know, when we're looking at some of the modern day players, they're able to get this right leg out a long way. We've seen Justin Thomas, but things moving this right leg out, but really having to bend their bodies into insane positions that normal people can't. 
and even these players are finding it difficult to time the swing with these type of actions. The best ball strikers of all time haven't had footwork like that. When we've seen Nicholas and Hogan and Mickey Wright and Mo Norman, even looking at players like Fred Couples and great footwork, Lee Trevino. Guys, this is the way to hit a golf ball more effectively. Now, we had Mo Norman who actually told us what he was working on. You know, the left leg staying bent and taking the hit. Spoke about the right leg moving in, the ankles rolling in, and told us what to look out for. And definitely this move here, he spoke about the right leg kicking out and not creasing the front of the shoe. Very interesting point. Love listening to this guy talk about the golf swing. Absolutely flush that one, guys. Right, now improving your leg work, your footwork to get a better impact, to stop early extensions, stop standing up and get your lateral shift. I mean, we're really not looking at the footwork enough and the leg work in the swing. You really want to look at building a station. And the reason I'm saying that is once we start hitting balls, we get distracted at times. We start to work on this, we start to work on that. But to get instant feedback to see if your right leg is really you know kicking out to the ball and you're standing up in it and you know you've got the you got the swing like the bus driver going hard left you know you want to have some feedback now we can't all hit from grass understand that so I'm going to go through a couple things here now I've just got a cut off shaft now you can make it a little bit shorter than this this was a, a little tricky to get it in the ground but we managed and you get that at about a fist width away in the middle of your stance you get about a fist width away from your right leg so that you're getting yourself in a position where you're getting feedback and you can keep this right leg working this right foot into a wonderful position get your hip tilts correct get into your finished position with some side bend get your knees together and get some neck tilt moving through the golf ball here getting your neck tilt, zipping up these thighs together and just getting great leg work and footwork. It's just such a great thing for your golf swing.